When I got the call from Zach at 9.35 a.m., I heard the words that Carly was gone, and my heart sunk to my stomach. Where is she? Who was she with? What time did she get home? You know, Zach, Carly went missing from your guys' residence. His response was, well, at least you have a alibi. You're in another state. You guys are literally labeled suspects because you're the last ones to have seen her. My suspicions about Zach and Melissa didn't come up until after I arrived at their residence and heard the audio that they had recorded of Carly. Carly seemed really confused, concerned about her health. You can hear her asking, are you going to call 911? I heard her call out for mom. I am just really scared. I did ask Zach and Melissa why they did not call 911, and her response was, she was just smoking pot, Lindsay. Lindsay's making accusations. She wants answers, so she's mad because she wasn't a part of it either. Melissa was looking at a eight-foot-long map on her wall with areas marked off where law enforcement had already searched. And when she looked at me, she said, Lindsay, they're going in the wrong direction. How does she know what way they should be going unless she knows where Carly is? I've had suspicion that my daughter is in the middle of nowhere. Maybe they're just holding her out there. I think what triggered Melissa's emotional distress over all this is when I called her out on social media and I said, why don't you tell your audience about the eight minute audio that you recorded of my daughter? It is very unsettling knowing that they refused to call for help when she asked them to. I believe there's evil in Zach and Melissa's house. I just need my little girl home. And I need to know she's okay and she's not being hurt. Okay, before I let you go, and to be completely fair and balanced, is there anything you want to say in response to what she said? It's not worth the time. It's, it's a lie. It's not worth it's, my time. <laughs> It's just a complete lie. We've raised Carly uh, since she was like five. Um, her well, older I... brother since she was like, since he was like nine. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is appalling. How dare you? Because I'm her stepmom? Because I didn't give birth to her? I don't even know how she's even going off on this tandem to even think that when we've given them everything and the FBI has been in, I mean, in our house, the sheriffs, we've had hundreds and hundreds of people come right into our home and help us and we're all trying to work together and she's the only one not. All right, I'm gonna excuse y'all, let her come out and now, just so you know, throughout, behind us, we've, we've had, you said you want your daughter's picture up, we've had it up. Thank you. I appreciate time that. and time and time again <laughs> and the poster up of where, uh, posted as, as missing and on the bottom of the screen when the stairs are numbers for people to call if they have information, give information, the whole thing. So, I mean, people look at these pictures, you know, here's the, uh, here's the poster for the Mono County Sheriff and we've got the numbers across the bottom of the screen where to call Thank and we're you. gonna Thank continue you. to do that and continue to do it and it'll be on She's so uh, beautiful. DrPhil.com, it'll be on our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere, every platform we have, this will be all over it. So I'm gonna excuse y'all now, I'll talk to you again in a little bit. Uh, but I'll let you guys go and I'll bring Lindsay out. Carly said, can you call 911? And Melissa said, no. And she goes, well, why not? And she goes, there's nothing wrong. 